had a, a situation in your landscape where it appears that your house just seems to be floating in space and all your trees, well, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit of a misunderstanding on landscape theory that causes that. So let's take a look at that. Let's say you have a, a, a house. And here's your trees back here. We have some trees here and some trees over in here. Let's go ahead and just put them in. I'll put them in very simply. And then I'll put your, the trees in back here. Okay. And then what we will tend to do, let's get the sky going in first here. Now I'm going to kind of go around my trees a little bit so it doesn't blend in too much. There we go. I think that'll work. And then we come in with our ground plane. We make it mix up a little bit of green. And then we will come in and we will maybe make our trees a little bit darker because we've got some dark shadows within the trees. Maybe throw some green in there too. And then we have a, uh, maybe a fence line. And it just doesn't look, it looks, you might say uh, it looks um, maybe childish a little bit or amateurish. And, uh, but really what's happening is that our, our, uh, our, is our building and our trees are floating in space. And you might say, well, yeah, but you've got some sort of a green down here. Isn't that the color of grass? And we've got blue for the sky. Now, you got the, maybe you have the colors right, but it's the value. The value shifts are wrong. The problem, what makes your, 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 uh, your building and your trees like they're flying in space and they're not anchored down to a ground, is that the value shift from your, your sky to your ground is wrong, and as in this example. In order for this to anchor down onto the ground and for the ground to come flat towards us and lie horizontally, we need to make this a little bit darker down here. It's a value shift. It's not the color issue. It's a value shift. So I look at a way to making the, dark a the ground a little bit darker than the sky. It's a value. I compare to the value of the sky. And do you see how uh, uh, automatically the, uh, the, sky comes, the ground comes forward now towards us? and it also tends to lie flat. Okay, this is basic landscape theory. We go over that once again in a, uh, one of my videos and I go into uh, how, to, how to keep the sky going up and over, how to, how to make the, uh, the hill incline, how to make the trees go straight up and down, and how to make the ground lie flat. And this is just, just the one part of the sky to the ground. It's not in the, uh, it's not in the uh, doing all the little blades of grass. That will not help you that we put in here. That won't do it. We tend to try to find the answer in the detail. It is not in the detail. It is in getting the proper value shifts from your sky to your ground. Detail comes in at the end and it's only an embellishment. It does not uh, make the painting. Okay, we can put in a, bit, a little bit like that. Okay, so landscape theory, if you can understand landscape theory, uh, you can you can paint very loosely and get these big 
and, and still have these big relationships lie in their proper value playing.